made it right to freezing, so 32 degrees Fahrenheit. The snow's thinning out dramatically from uh, obviously what you guys have seen and what I have back home. And I know that probably in the next half hour, the snow will become very, very scarce. And uh, I think that in the next 45 minutes to an hour, there won't be any snow at all. That's just how things work when you drive down south. Uh, I'm very, very excited to see grass. Uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Redliners, we finally got sunrise here. It's 7, 10 a.m. The sun finally just peaked up. Temperature update for you guys. It now actually dipped uh, below freezing after it hit, uh, I think 34 was the highest I saw it go. It's now chilling again at uh, 26 degrees. We're coming up to the uh, Mexico exit. As you guys know, I say that a lot of my uh, videos are actually filmed in Mexico and uh, you know, the, the reason being is because, uh, you know, you can go a little bit quicker in Mexico. The speed limits are a little higher in Mexico. And as you guys saw, the Mexico exit was right there and there's still snow on the ground. So there's clearly snow in Mexico, guys. You know, that, you guys just saw it on camera right there. So yeah, we'll continue onwards. What's going on, fellow Redliners? We're at our uh, gas stop here. The car is holding up pretty well. A little picks up a little bit of dust here and there. I try to stay away from all the dirt as best I can. You can still see the lower skirt is uh, is pretty dirty. They salt the hell out of the roads in uh, upstate New York. I guess they kind of shit their pants when they see snow. So they just lay down a crap load of salt. So what you're driving on is really just a layer of salt and then road, which is uh, fantastic. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna fill up and uh, we'll head back. And the award for longest pass goes to this guy. I've been behind him for maybe six minutes, five minutes, and he's just been passing this guy. Come on, man, like, speed up a little bit, please. He's still not done, look at him. Move over, get over, oh my God, thank you. Guys, I think you should be able to see how the sky is kind of hazy, and I'll explain why that's the case for those of you that don't know. Basically, the sun is beating down on the snow, and the snow is slowly melting, and, and that moisture is evaporating. That's what causes that hazy look. Now, it kind of resembles the look of if you had a wildfire going on and you were kind of distant from it. It's really kind of the same feeling, although there's no smell, obviously, and uh, it kind of looks really cool. So guys, you can take a look at uh, the grass over there in the corner. You can see that it's slowly starting to show. Uh, we're still, I guess, upstate New York, uh, making our way down still. Temperature outside, though, is uh, only 25, 26 degrees. Uh, yeah, everything, roads are fairly uh, clear, and uh, we're making pretty decent time. So I'll uh, come back and uh, give you guys an update uh, momentarily. <laughs> Quick update, it's uh, 37 outside, the snow has obviously thinned out quite a bit to the point where it's almost non-existent, I think in the next 10 minutes or so it'll uh, it'll probably all be gone. But uh, yeah, we're uh, about uh, maybe five miles out from uh, Scranton, Pennsylvania. So we're making our way down nicely. Uh, makes some pretty decent time as well, which is nice. Um, yeah, I'll uh, get back to you guys with another update for a Guys, so just passing through Scranton now. I'll flip the camera around. It's showing uh, 38 degrees, but uh, yeah, uh, very, very little snow left on the ground. Icicles on the, uh, you know, the mountains over there just from melting, and then I guess it was a little cooler at night, so I kind of froze. But uh, yeah, as you can see, they're almost snow free here, and the roads no longer are uh, baked in salt, which is nice. Although the car is completely covered with like salt residue, so uh, not ideal, but uh, hopefully, it still looks pretty clean. Anyways, I'll give you guys a, another update, I guess, um, in the next little bit. Uh, we got 160 miles left, that's what it says. So, uh, yeah.
update. We're about uh, 20, 25 minutes out right now. The weather is absolutely beautiful right now. It's sunny with just a few clouds and it's uh, 48 degrees outside. Obviously no snow at all, which is lovely. I, uh, I look forward to today's afternoon high, which is supposed to be like 67, 70 degrees, which is just beautiful. Uh, so I guess the next update will probably be when I arrive there. So uh, just hang on a second for you guys. Unfortunate update to give. We're close to Hershey now and uh, we've got uh, quite a bit of traffic basically doing the speed limit. So I guess I can't complain too much, but uh, yeah, it's kind of I, when you go up over the hills, you can just see it's backed up all the way down. So there's uh, there's really no chance of passing. Uh, it's just everyone's doing uh, 75, maybe 70, 75 miles an hour. Um, slightly slower than the, uh, the speed limit that I was doing previously, uh, although I kept it within the speed limit. So. I seem to have found the problem. There's two trucks which are kind of backing things up, but although ahead of them it looks like it's backed up as well. So I'm not sure if there's a couple of cars just going slow or what, but it's, it is backed up. Now it's even slower than it was previously. Uh, right now we're doing a measly 65. You guys, look at this Titan. I, I just saw it. I'm not sure if that's a front mount intercooler on that car or not. It's a little hard for me to see. I think you should probably see it in the rear view, hopefully. It looks to have a huge opening, and I thought it may be a front mount, which is just strange, but... Uh, or it just could be a custom grill, I'm not sure. Number one, lunch. Chipotle over there. So uh, I'm just gonna hop in there, grab something to eat, and then we'll uh, head out to the car show. It's only about five minutes from here, so yeah, it should be quick. <laughs> What's going on fellow redliners? I finally found parking six or seven lots away. I just walked here. I can see the building right there. You can see it says Pennsylvania Farm Show Complex. That's where we're going in now. I figured I'd wrap the uh, vlog coming here up uh, right here and then we'll start a vlog in there in another video. What I'm thinking of doing is uh, just doing a couple of voiceovers and a couple of, uh, you know, speaking on, on a couple cars, but then leaving a bunch of music on the rest of it because I heard from uh, a couple of friends that are in there right now that it's pretty loud, so I don't think the audio quality will be great. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the drive here, and uh, yeah, I'll give you a final update on the weather. It's 75 degrees, I think. Hang on. Let's check. 72 degrees. 72 degrees here right now and it is absolutely gorgeous so you yeah, guys uh i'll see you guys next video take care bye, -bye.